Well, obviously, as the FIDO representative, I think that uh, we've seen a great amount of uh, evolution through FIDO over the last uh, year or so. Uh, we've seen Google, we've seen Dropbox, GitHub, Bank of America, a number of really big uh, services that are moving away from traditional passwords, moving away from uh, a traditional second factor OTP and things like that. And so it's really encouraging to see that the people are, are moving towards A, something that's more secure, something that's easier to use, and something that has privacy associated with it. Uh, and, and it's not just United States, it's not just one service, it's not just one vendor, but just kind of an entire industry, the entire country of Korea, uh, NTT Docomo, and there are 60 million subscribers in Japan, uh, Europe, United States, government regulation, obviously with uh, NIST uh, 863 moving towards uh, FIDO. Just a huge market movement towards uh, uh, more secure authentication. So as stated by um, Adam just before, it's clear that uh, secure authentication is becoming more and more a market requirement right now. And uh, so you need to have all the infrastructure to be able to manage that. FIDO is working on the authentication, authenticator itself and the backend. And in global platform, we have been able to work a lot about how to integrate uh, authentication services into the TEE because one of the objects that the uh, end user will use uh, are smartphone or connected devices. Therefore, there is a lot of uh, demand right now on the market to be able to have a secure access to the fingerprint sensor, to the trusted UI, to allow deployment of such authentication uh, secure services. And, and obviously from a FIDO perspective, uh, TEE is a very important security platform for FIDO authenticators, especially in the, the mobile market as we're seeing. Uh, a number of mobile phones that are deploying with FIDO already built in. Uh, we've seen dozens of these new models that are actually shipping with FIDO uh, installed right out of the box. Uh, and TEE is obviously on all these mobile devices as well. So looking very much towards the collaboration between Global Platform and FIDO to ensure that uh, FIDO can get the most out of the, the TEE platform. I, I was just introduced uh, th there is a more and more uh, request uh, to have security services uh, for authentication services. So it makes sense that the two organizations that are primarily working on the secure services on the device and authentication work together. What we have done uh, first is to verify that uh, as a platform, secure platform, we are providing the right services to the authenticator. And uh, we have uh, now uh, moved to the, uh, providing a good solution for the security evaluation. Yeah, and, and for FIDO, we've, we've had, I think, uh, 250 functional certifications over the last year from uh, 98 different companies, and that just makes sure that the FIDO functionality works. And really, a big initiative for FIDO right now is to make sure that not only is the ecosystem functionally compatible, but that people are getting the security that they want out of it. Uh, there's a lot of different requirements from a lot of different uh, uh, stakeholders within the ecosystem. Uh, so whether you're logging into Facebook or whether you're authenticating with government services, wide range of requirements. And we think that the TEE solves a, a lot of those from a security perspective. So for FIDO, moving into not just functional certification, but security certification and making sure that uh, it's easy for vendors to sit on top of a TEE and reuse all the, the uh, verified security that's already in that platform as part of their FIDO authentication is a, a big initiative for us uh, within the near future. And the objective of the collaboration is to make the life more simple for the OEM that are embedding both TEE and uh, FIDO Authenticator. So we want uh, the certification to be very quick, efficient, uh, with a time frame which is reliable, which is very important for the product vendor because they, they need to release the product on a certain date. And certification and security certification should not be a blocking point on this uh, program. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll, I'll put an exclamation point on that. that ease of vendor engagement with the security and pro program is very important. So being able to reuse a lot of the good work that's happening in the, the TEE certification program uh, to jumpstart uh, FIDO uh, security certification is, is a huge initiative. Keep it quick and, and cost effective for the vendors that want to be able to security certify their, their authenticators. And uh, the value for Global Platform is that the framework of certification of FIDO allows different type of uh, solutions and makes sense because the FIDO will be deployed on very various, but we are working, so the specific uh, slot for the T technology, it's uh, fulfilled quickly to be able to answer uh, really before the end of the year 
to some solution for the OEMs. I think that 2017 is going to be an especially exciting year for uh, authentication. There's going to be a lot of big announcements coming out of uh, FIDO in terms of both deployment and in terms of new technologies, new standards that I think are really going to help shape the ecosystem. Um, I, I, there's a lot that I can't talk about right now, but obviously our partnership with Global Platform speaks to some of that in terms of what we're doing around security certification. Uh, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing some of those things come out next year. But I do think that the death of the password is nearby. I think that uh, the 2017 will start to be the year where people can really start to point at a change in the ecosystem in terms of uh, dozens and dozens of very high profile services, uh, dozens of relying parties actually deploying FIDO. Uh, we already have a huge footprint in terms of number of phones uh, that are have uh, FIDO built into them. I think that we'll start to see browsers and other platforms pick up FIDO as well, and I think that we'll start to see that enabling all these relying parties to actually uh, turn off password-based services, turn off legacy uh, second factor authentication services, and really move strongly into a new era of secure authentication. I think we are uh, just at the beginning of the, the, the impact that uh, FIDO is bringing in the market to really separate identification from authentication. And we are really at the beginning. Um, as said by Adam, a lot of people are starting to understand that authentication can be performed on a device uh, with fingerprint, with fun stuff. They need to manage the identity in parallel, which is a business-related uh, activity. And we, really, we are the beginning on, the, on, on this wave. More and more service providers have said, we'll start to understand that, OK, I, I can use authentication on the device because it's secure. It's uh, following a standard that has been really evaluated. So more and more service providers will use it. And I suppose that maybe for if we want to be more in a three to five years, uh, definitely the identification uh, and the authentication of uh, devices in IoT will be also important. So I suppose that here there will be maybe other uh, games to play. Yeah, absolutely.